Uh, hey guys. So, I'm back with another unsolicited cocktail video. This time I'm gonna do something kind of sustainable and make use of the skins of a lime, which don't get used that often in cocktails. I'm gonna do something called an oleosaccharum, which is this cocktail ingredient from the 1700s that uses the essential oils in citrus skin. Usually it's done with lemons and oranges. I'm gonna do it with limes today, because we can. And um, yeah, so all we're gonna need is a peeler for this. And I have about a dozen limes here and I'm going to, yeah, just peel them all. And uh, the great thing is that the limes really do kind of stay fresh without the skin for a while in the fridge, so you can use them for juice for quite a while, but this way you're actually making use of the skin, which doesn't happen very often. See, right now I'm, yeah, peeling the lime in little wedges instead of uh, doing it all around like, I'm, like a madman, like I'm doing right now. This is also real time, by the way. I'm not speeding this up at all. Uh, here's a fun thing while you're doing this. You can make a little lime flower for your loved one, who, which might just be yourself if you're staying in quarantine by yourself. So yeah, peel in all these lime skins here and then I'm going to put them on a scale. I'm gonna zero out the weight of the bowl itself and weigh the lime skins out. And then I'm gonna take a four to three ratio of brown sugar in this case to lime juice. I'm using brown sugar because I want the molasses -y flavor. I'm gonna do some rum stuff with this and I feel like that would go well. So I just added a little bit of salt and some ants. <laughs> just kidding, they're not ants, they're cloves, you idiot. Uh, I'm gonna add half a skin of an orange to that for a little accent of flavor. I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm going to mix the sugar, salt, clove, and uh, lime skins together and really mash them up very well, try to get all that sugar incorporated and cover it with plastic wrap. And this little fucker is gonna sit on my counter for 24 hours now. And the sugar will pull the oils out and it, the oils will dissolve the sugar and it will become this kind of liquid gold stuff that you're starting to see come out right there. Yeah, that is the oleosaccharum, pretty neat. So yeah, after maybe four hours, I just take a little muddler and give these guys one good real mash, cover it back up, and uh, yeah, now I'm gonna make a cocktail with the lime juice just to show what, you know, you can do with the actual lime. We're gonna use the same rum and bitters that we're gonna use in the oleosaccharum drink, just so we're just keeping it real simple. This cocktail is called the Brooklynite. It's just got bitters, lime juice, some honey over here that was dissolved uh, with a little bit of hot water to be pourable, and some Jamaican rum. So yeah, it's a very simple daiquiri-like variation. Just your rum, honey, and all that stuff. So in this case, instead of pouring into a shaker, you're gonna pour into a bottle so you can bring it up on the roof. Cause, and uh, I'm just gonna shake this drink on the roof instead. Um, get some fresh air for once because we're going crazy inside. So yeah, I'm gonna add the ice to the shaker here and uh, give that guy a pretty good shake and pour the fucker out and then uh, sit up on the roof for a minute and uh, congratulate yourself for making a Brooklynite. And take a little sip and look off into the distance and be happy with yourself. There we go. So about at the uh, end of the night, you're starting to see even more oleosaccharum come out of these lime skins and then you go to sleep. And then you wake up in the morning, take your thing off, and wow, there's a whole lot of oleosaccharum in there now. So great. So, the main thing we're gonna do now is just go through all these lime skins and kind of wipe off as much of that oleosaccharum as possible with clean hands, of course, a duh. And just get every last bit out, leaving us with this uh, oleosaccharum here, uh, which will probably make about eight drinks worth. Um, it's really potent stuff. You only need about one or two bar spoons per drink. So yeah, that little shot glass is liquid gold. And now I'm gonna make a drink with the oleosaccharum, um, a very simple old fashioned variation. So we're gonna use about two bar spoons of this oleosaccharum here instead of the sugar cube in an old fashioned gonna use uh, bitters just like we would for regular old-fashioned and then our Jamaican rum instead of whiskey so this is actually kind of similar to a drink called an island old-fashioned um, this is our beautiful piece of clear ice I'm just gonna take the bottom of that cube and chip it down so it fits neatly into the bottom of the glass and give this guy a little stir 
Yeah, so in the island old fashion, it has a falernum in it, which is a uh, kind of lime and clove flavored, and our oleosaccharum is uh, taking the place of that there. Just gonna use a little bit of mint, kind of as a mojito-like nod, and uh, that is our drink. Um, a kind of mojito flavored uh, old fashioned made with lime and uh, lime zest and rum and bitters, and there's the cat because it's me and I have to include him in this somehow. So yeah, then you just take a sip of this little mojito-inspired uh, islandish old-fashioned and congratulate yourself for making an oleosaccharum and using lime zest in your cocktail. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>